Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart form version management and in the previous video we covered how you can track the various transport requests related to that smart form. Yes, we cannot compare the version. Suppose if I have a version of the smart form and if I'm going for another changes in the smart form. So I cannot track that what was in the previous version and what is in the new version. I cannot do that. But yes, I can easily, easily track the transport request related to that smart form because SAP has not given the functionality that you can compare the versions of the smart form. Now, in the previous video, we tracked the transport request through SC03 transaction code that is our transport organizer tool. Now, we have another way also. Many times people use that way also to track the transport request for a particular object. See, I am using the word object. Object means that object can be anything. It can be your program, it can be your smart form, it can be any object. So you can track the transport request of a particular object through E071 table also. E071. So if I will go for this particular table and widely used table in the projects, Many times people use SC03 or many times people use E071 to track what are the various transport requests for a particular object. Suppose if I will display this table. Description is itself transport system, object entries of request or task. It means we can track the transport request and task of a particular object. If I will go for the contents, now I will go for object type. You all know in the previous video I covered the object type for the smart form is SSF. Now I will put the object name, whatever the smart form I created. So I will go for smart forms transaction code. So I will just go for the smart form. This is the smart form which we developed. If I will execute, you can see we are able to see the transport request. Now people will think in the previous video, we have only only two transport requests. Why it is showing four? See, one is request and one is the subtask. If I will show you in SC09 transaction code, you will understand very easily. If I will go to SC09, I'll go for released because anyways, I release those transports. These are the two transport requests, 903773 and this is the sub task, 373-3774. Now you can see we have 3775, 3775, 3776, 3775, 776. So this is the table also. This table you can also use to track the transport request of a particular object. Now, now we will come on to the version management. SAP has not given the functionality that you can compare the versions of the smart form. But yes, we have one trick. With the help of that trick, at least you can track the changes up to a certain level. So I will simply, simply guide you on that particular approach. So if someone asks you, can you compare the versions of the smartphone? Answer is no. If someone is asking, can you track the various versions of the smartphone? You can say yes. I can track the versions of the smartphone means I can check the various transport requests of the smartphone. But if someone asks me that, okay, has SAP has given the functionality to compare the versions of the smartphone? No, SAP has not given that functionality. So I will go for a trick. And many times we use this particular trick so that at least up to certain level, I can check what was the changes into that particular version. So what I will do, I will go for the smartphone which we developed. I will put smart forms transaction code. This is the smart form which we developed. 
before going for the changes to the smart form, just to download this smart form. During the smart form playlist also, I covered this always make a practice. Whenever you are going for changes, always, always take a backup of the smart form. Suppose I will download this utilities download form. Now I will simply, simply go for, suppose I will save on the desktop. So it is downloaded on my desktop. Now what I will do, I will go for the changes in the smart. Suppose I will go for some changes. I will go to form interface. Suppose I am declaring one variable. P-O-N-O -O type. Suppose I will put the data element. This is the data element which I am referring from order header table. If you do not have order header table, no problem. You can use any data element. It's totally your wish. Suppose I will go for global definition. I will declare one structure, suppose. I'm just writing some code. Suppose I will declare some structure type. Begin of LTY underscore data. O-N-O -O type. Z D E O N O underscore 28. I am referring my order header table. If you do not have order header table, you can simply refer the playlist of data dictionary and create. Suppose I am going for order data. I am just writing some sample logic because anyways, this is not our target. I will end this structure. Suppose I will go for global data and declare one internal table. LT underscore data type table of LTY underscore data. Now I will go for initialization and I will write the code. Suppose select ONO O date from Z O R D H underscore 28 into table internal table. I will go for bear condition. Order number is equal to P O N O because in the form interface I gave this thing. So based upon this query, P O N O is input and LT underscore data is up. Suppose I will go for syntax check. I will go for activation. Now I will create another transport request because previous requests were released. Suppose I will say smart form request 3. I will go for OK. Now, if someone asks you, just tell us what is the code in the previous person. We cannot do that. We can track the transport request through E071 table or you can see, suppose if I will refresh, it will show me that this is the request. Now we are getting a new transport request. Yes, now, but we cannot we cannot even tell yes this is the this was the code in the previous version and this is the code in the new version we cannot compare the versions so what you can do in that case just go for smart forms transaction code you already have the backup this is your smart form original smart form in which you did the changes now you already have the backup on the desktop so what you can do, just give some random name. Suppose I'm saying Z, suppose backup. So that we can make it more clear. I will go for create. Now I will simply upload. Utilities, upload. I will upload from the desktop. I will go for allow. This is just a way to check what was in the previous version and what is in the new version. I will go for yes. 
I will go for activation. Suppose this thing, I can save it as local because anyways, I am not transporting this. We will not transport this to quality or production. This will go to quality and production because ultimately this is our now latest smart form in which we have the changes. This is just so that we can check. Yes, what was in the previous version. I will go for local object, suppose. Now. Now we can simply, simply go to one transaction code. Now this is the smart form in which you have the backup. You have the original backup. We, when we started with the changes, we took the backup. So this is our first copy of the smart form. And this is our latest copy of the smart form. So you can compare. Now what we will do, we have one transaction code SC39 important transaction code widely, widely used in the projects. Now, with the help of this transaction code, you can compare the versions. We all know every smart form generates a function module. I will run this function. I will run this smart form. This is the function module. I will choose the radio button function. This is the function module. Now, this will be at the left hand side means left hand side we have the first copy of the smart form i will choose function now this is the smart form in which i did the changes in which i have written the code i will run and this is the function model i will pass this this will be on the right hand side now we will compare. I will go for display. So we have two versions now. Yes, two versions. One is before changes, one is after changes. After this, you can simply click on to this button, comparison on. Now we will see. Next difference. Now first difference you can easily, easily predict we added one variable in the form interface. If I will go for the smart form, we added one variable in the form interface. This is the variable we added. And this variable was not there. So with the help of this feature, at least you can compare. SAP has not given this because in the system now we have this only. This is the active version. We took the backup. That's why we are able to see this. Now, what I will do, I will go for next difference. Anyways, this is just the back smart form name. We are not worried about this. Next, this is also the function module of the smart form. Now, we'll simply go next. I'll just come on to the code so that we can understand fully. Now, I will simply go next. I will go next. Now here you can easily see. Here I added the logic. So if I will click onto these subroutines, I will double click here. If you remember, I declared the internal table LT data. So SAP is clearing that internal table. And if I will go for the next subroutine, you can see this is the logic we have written. This logic was not into this particular version. So this is the way, this is just a trick. At least you can check that what are the various changes done to that particular smartphone using this particular feature. SAP has not given the feature to compare the versions. What we can do, we can take a backup, we can upload in the future if we want to compare what was in that particular version. So what is the summary of this particular video? Lots of important points from the project perspective, real project perspective. In real projects, many times we use this table E071 to check what are the various transport requests for that particular object. So you can check with the help of this table. Then I told you, yes, for smart form, we cannot compare the versions, previous version, new version, because at a time only one version is active. 
Suppose simple example, we did the changes into this particular smartphone. If I do not have the backup, can I check what is in the previous version of the smartphone? No, it's not possible at all. Yes. So what you can do, make a practice whenever you are going for changes, take a backup. Then at least you have the backup. Then you can go for changes. You can release the request. You can move the changes to the quality. But after certain time, if you want to check what was the code in the previous version of the smartphone, at least you have the backup. Upload that backup, compare with the help of SC39 transaction code and pass the function module of the smartphone because every function module generates the smartphone. So this is all about smartphone version management, smartphone tracking of transport request. So this is all about the topic. So that's it in this video. Thank you.